This is Puzzle 77 from Sudoku to Go, Volume 118 by Soap Opera Digest. This video covers the T pattern, another one in this video series on patterns. Before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Harold Nolte. I've been studying Sudoku for about eight years now, and you might say I'm an addict because I do at least five Sudoku puzzles a day and sometimes a lot more than five a day. I now have over 150 videos on tips and techniques in this Sudoku Primer series so you'll find lots of them out there on, on YouTube. I've enjoyed doing these videos and reading your comments and I want to mention if you have a question or have a puzzle you want me to, to solve please leave a comment with that information. And if you like these videos, please click the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel. The T pattern that we're covering today um, is one of many patterns found on SudokuPrimer.com in the patterns section. So just go to SudokuPrimer.com, look for the patterns section, and then look for the patterns that you're interested in studying. Now the T pattern is um, where you have four numbers in a box already in this order. Um, this box two here has a T pattern in it. The six, four, nine, three combination here forms a T. The seven isn't necessary, but it, if it's there, it's okay. And the T is formed by the empty cells. So you can see the empty cells here you can see that 7 isn't needed. And what you can do with the T pattern is, like you, we noticed one here, so we can look at the top of the T and look in that column, or look through the middle of the T in this row and see if we can find numbers that are outside of the box that aren't, if, um, and if we find numbers that aren't in this box already, then we'll, we'll be able to, to um, do something with them. Here we've got a 9 and a 4, and there's a 9 and a 4 already in here. And here's a 4, and there's already 4 in there already. So this T pattern isn't going to help us much right now. It'll help us later. Let's look at this T pattern here. And again, we've got an 8, 9, 7, 4, which forms the T. The 2 isn't necessary. And the T is the empty cells this way and this way. Now notice we have a a 6 and a 9 here. We've got a 9 already, but we don't have a 6. So we know one of these is a 6. We also have a 3 in this row that goes through the middle of the T. And we don't have any 3's in here, so we know one of these is a 3. Now let's look over here. We don't have a T pattern here yet, but we have a 2 here and a 2 here. And so we know this cell right here is a 2 and that forms a T pattern. You can see the T very clearly right here. Okay, and with that T, we've got a 3 there already, so that doesn't help us. But now we've got a 4 here, and so one of these is a 4. Okay. And with that, with uh, one of these being a 4 and this 4, we know that's a 4 right there. Okay, now this is a 4 also, and uh, I didn't put that in right at first because I wanted to illustrate the T pattern here. We've got a 4 here already, so we know that's a 4. Now we also know we've got a 6 here and a 6 there. With this T pattern here, we've got ghost 6s, so we know that's a 6 right there. And um, we also know that this is a 6 because we've got a 6 there. But again, I didn't put that in right away because I want to illustrate the T pattern first. Okay, now we can put a 6 here. We've got a 6 there, so we can put a 6 there. Okay. And 
this six wasn't even necessary to help us find this six and this six because of the T pattern. All right, now let's see, we've got a two here and a two here, so that's a two. And now we can probably fill in a bunch of twos here. Let's see, we've got a two and a two there, so that's a two. Okay, we've got a two here. And with that two, we've got a two there. And now with this two, we notice we've created another T pattern right here. got a two right there. Okay, now let's look at this T pattern right here. We got a two seven and a four. We don't have a seven in here, so we know one of these is a seven. We know that's it right there. Now we didn't need the T pattern to find that, but I wanted to illustrate the T pattern. This seven isn't necessary for us to see that one of these is a seven. All right, now let's look at, oh, we've got a two and a four in there already. Let's look at this column here that the top of the T goes through. Uh, we got a two, four, and an eight. We have a two and a four here already, but we don't have an eight, so we know one of these is an eight. And we can't solve those yet, but that tells us one of these is an eight right here. Okay, it also tells us one of these is an 8. Okay, so because of these ghost 8s here, we're going to be able to find an 8 right here. And let me explain how I got that one. We have ghost 8s here. One of these is an 8. One of these is an 8. And since one of these is an 8 and one of these is an 8, we know this. these two columns are um, covered, and so the 8 has to go in one of these two spots. Okay, so with the combination of this T pattern here and what we call double column elimination here, we found that 8. And then we've also got an 8 right here because ghost 8's here through that T pattern so we have ghost eights here, an eight there, an eight there, an eight there, so that's an eight. So because of this T pattern, we found these two eights. So that's the power of the T pattern. All right, now we know that uh, this is a three right here. That's pretty straightforward. And uh, let's see. Do we know? We've got a three right there. Uh, there's a four right there. And let's see. See what we're missing here. One, three, five. Okay, we can see that this is a three right here. Okay, because of this three right there. Okay, now we've got a one and a five left there, so we can solve those. Okay, now we know that's a one. And we've got a one and a seven left here, so we can solve them. Okay, one, one. okay there's a one there and a one there. That's a one right there. So 
we got a one here, we got ghost ones here. We got a, so that's a one. And then uh, we can also put a one right here. So there's a seven there. there. Six there. And a six there. Five is the only number left in that column. Now we've got eight and nine left there. Okay, so that makes that an eight. And a seven and a five there. there. Okay, we're missing a 5 and a 9 there. So, and that's a 5. Now we're missing 3, 7 there. Eight there. Okay, now we're missing just two numbers here. Five, nine. So five there, nine there, and a five there. Seven. So seven goes there. Nine goes there. And so what are we missing here? Five. And then we're missing one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine there. And a five, eight there. Right. That's it. So with that, the T patterns that we found, and we found uh, several there in this puzzle, is a good example for the T pattern. Um, we're able to uh, solve the puzzle pretty quickly using just that pattern alone. So uh, um, since I've done a few videos now on patterns. I was wondering what your favorite pattern is. And if you'd like to leave a comment and leave your favorite pattern, I'd like I'd like to say that my favorite pattern is a diagonal pattern. I think that one is um, very helpful and I, I really like it. So that's my favorite. But leave your favorite pattern in the comments. And uh, if you have a puzzle you want me to look at and see if I'd like to solve it in a video, please leave the puzzle. And uh, if you like this video, please click the like and uh, subscribe to this channel. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be doing more videos in the near future.